Hi friends, it's Sintang Mayumi. Today I'm collaborating with my two talented friends here on YouTube. Uh, my two talented friends are Helen from Crafty Mama Diaries and Cheryl from Carl Chi Saturday. We are creating 10 cards, one doodle bug collection. I will leave their links in my description box below. The doodle bug collection that I will use is the soap honey collection. So I used the 6x6 paper pad, the odds and ends, uh, chit chat. I end up not using this thumb sets here and I think this ones are a collaboration with Simon Says Tom and Doodlebug. I will also be using these heart stickers. The first one is the enamel heart stickers and then the other one is the um, just the glitter stickers. And these are the ones that I'm planning to use on my cards today. This is my first time not using stamps on my cards today. If you watch my videos, I use stamps 100% all the time when I make uh, cards. So what I did is I went to Pinterest and searched for card layouts and most of my layouts that I use are from my favorite things, stamp. For my first card, I use Sweet Sunday Sketch Challenge uh, 220. I cut all my papers off camera and die cut one of my paper uh, paper layer with stitch circle die. So now I'm just putting them together. I use the pattern papers with the Chinese takeout boxes, a bowl of rice and then soy sauce. And now I'm adding this polka dot um, paper, pattern paper on top on the middle and then I will add the circle um, die cut so I'm gonna place it over there and then for my takeout um, box and a bowl of rice I'm going to pop them up with foam tape and then I added a little bit of liquid glue to make sure it's adhered well and then I will also add the sentiment I will also pop that up and it says have a rice day And then for my embellishments, I'm going to add this iridescent se sequence on the corners. So I added two on the bottom corner and then three on the upper corner. For the inside of the card, I will just add that strip. Uh, there's like uh, strips of paper that you can cut uh, them apart uh, from the 6x6 paper pad. So I just cut that and then we'll add it on the lower part of the uh, inside the card. And then I will just cut the excess paper. For my second card, I use my favorite things, One Stay Sketch Challenge 260. I will add the strip of paper in the middle of the card base. Oh, and all of my card bases are from Tailored Expressions uh, cardstock. So I think I use all of them are top folding uh, card base or card. And then I'm just going to cut the excess using my trimmer here. And then we'll start adding the stitch circles on the um, side of the uh, strip of paper. And then the other one will be on the uh, lower part. I'm going to add some color on the edge of this sentiment using Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide Ink and using my dauber to apply the ink on the sentiment. And then we can adhere the soda cans on the uh, stitch circles. So I'm also going to pop them up and then uh, place them in the middle of the circle. And for the embellishment, I'm going to add some of this 
uh, glitter stickers on the sides of the card and this pack is from uh, the Stico stickers and then for the inside of the card I have uh, a strip of uh, soda cans and bottle uh, soda I just uh, add that on the lower part and then cut the excess paper for my third card I use stitch circle die and cuts scrappiness scallop stitch border dies and this is my favorite things Wednesday sketch 324 ahead and adhere these things together so I'm going to adhere the uh, bigger piece first the ones with the scallop uh, edge bottom edge so I'm just going to add that on the upper part of the card we'll adhere it starting on the upper part of the card and then I'll adhere the circle stitch circle in the middle And for this uh, banner here, I'm going to adhere it on the lower part of the circle stitch and then cut the excess paper. And again, I'm popping up my, uh, my image, my teacup and place that in the middle of the stitch circle and I also have a little banner here I'm gonna place that on the upper uh, left corner for the embellishment I'm adding three uh, iridescent sequins on the lower right corner of the card and I'm using um, micro glue dots so you can use it on, uh, on your sequins and you don't have to use uh, liquid glue and for the inside of the card again I use the strip and add that on the lower part of the inside the card fourth card is using my favorite things Wednesday sketch challenge 197 so I have this coral uh, top holding card base and I'm going to add my uh, mat and the mat I I chose is this uh, soda cans and soda bottles so I add that on the card base and then we'll add this um, like a wonky a pink cardstock on the side and then I'm going to cut this a strip of paper into banner and then I will add that or adhere that on the lower part of the wonky pink uh, paper so I'll add my adhesive and then add it on the paper and then I'm going to pop up the soda bottle and then the heart and then we'll adhere that on the card and then I will just add uh, liquid glue on the sentiment and adhere it on the card and then for the embellishment, I'm going to add uh, iridescent sequins on the uh, corners of the card. I mean, upper corner and lower corner. And then for the inside of the card, I will add a strip of the pattern paper again. And then we'll cut the excess paper. Fifth card is using my favorite things, Wednesday sketch challenge 504 and then I uh, die cut my uh, paper with uh, Gina Marie Designs uh, pennant dies and then we'll just adhere that in the middle of the this purple uh, card base so I forgot that I need to add the strips uh, first but um, I uh, remembered before adhering the uh, adhering the pennant die I mean pennant uh, cut out all the way so I just uh, slide them uh, on the back of the uh, die cut and now I'm just uh, adding some glue on the uh, sides of the 
uh, strips of paper. After I adhered those downs, I'm going to add my sentiment. So I will place it on the upper part of the pennant die. I mean pennant die cut, and then uh, add the circle in the middle, and then uh, pop up the glue bottle, and then place it. Uh, on the circle die cut. And then for the embellishment, I'll add uh, this enamel hearts on the upper corners. So I'll just add one each of the enamel hearts and then I will also add uh, the iridescent sequence on the lower right corner of the card. And then for the inside of the card, I have this border of hearts, so I'll just add that uh, in the inside, cut the excess, and this card is done. Card number 6 is using My Favorite Things Wednesday Sketch Challenge 334. And I also use the CC Designs Square Die Set to die cut my square, and I also use uh, one of the die from Cut's Scrappiness Scallop die set. This card is almost the same with the number 3 card. So I added the pattern paper, a scallop pattern paper on the uh, orange card base and then added the stitch square in the middle and then pop up my image. And then place that on top of the stitches, stitch square. And then I'm cutting the pointy part of the word bubble because it doesn't fit where I want to place it. So I just uh, remove that and it will just be circle. And then I add that on the um, right corner, upper right corner. And then for the embellishment, I'll just add some of this iridescent sequence on the uh, lower right corner and upper left corner of the card. And for the inside of the card, I will add this uh, pattern paper here, uh, breakfast uh, images. So I'll just add that down there and that card is done. Card number 7 is using My Favorite Things Wednesday Sketch Challenge 497. This one is my favorite card uh, from the 10 cards that I made today. Uh, it's because it's shaker card. Who doesn't love shaker card? <laughs> so I'm gonna adhere my pink uh, pattern paper and adhere it uh, starting on the uh, right side. I die cut this Polaroid frame from Lundfon's Say Cheese die that coordinates with the Say Cheese stamp set. I also cut my cardstock to go on the back of the Polaroid frame and now I'm adding uh, my adhesive on the sides of on the sides of the Polaroid frame on the back. So that's the Lundfon Say Cheese stamp set and die die set. So I have my acetate here ready to go. I also cut that uh, off camera. So I will just place that on the back of this uh, Polaroid frame. And then I will add my uh, foam tape. So for my foam tape, I double that up um, because I'm go going to add my, um, my sequence and I want my sequence to uh, move freely Before I add my sequence in the middle, I'm going to use my AK uh, powder tool to brush the sides of the uh, foam tape so uh, My sequence won't stick on the sides and the sequin mix that I'm using here is free when I purchase at Jamie's shop at not too shabby so I already added my sequence and now I'm gonna remove the release paper and put or uh, adhere my uh, my cardstock. 
after the shaker part is done i'm just going to add this on the lower part of the pink pattern paper so it will look like that and then i will add here the waffle and uh, the sentiment and also the banner uh, strip banner so i'm using my atg uh, gun here to adhere the waffle and the sentiment because i don't want uh, the glue oozing out uh, on the acetate and then uh, for the embellishment i'll just use this glitter uh, hearts and add some on the card and for the inside of the card i have the strip of waffle, waffle and then i will just uh, cut the excess uh, paper okay so for card 8 i use cards tv blogspot.com sketch let's go ahead and uh, adhere the pattern paper mat on my lime green colored um, a2 size card base so i'm just gonna put that on the card base and then i cut this stripe or strip of pattern paper so that will go in the middle of the card and then cut the excess paper and then i cut this uh, rectangle pattern paper and that will go on top of the rectangle orange uh, paper and then I will place that uh, one key uh, in the middle of the card. So for the stitch uh, circle die cut, I will place that on the corner of the rectangle paper. And then I will play, also place the heart inside that circle. And then for my um, image, I will just place them on the uh, middle of the rectangle paper and then for the embellishment I will just add some of this glitter hearts on the upper right corner and the lower left corner of the card and for the inside of the card I will add another strip and this strip is the um, the bacon and egg strip so I'll just cut the excess paper and this card is finished. For my ninth card, I will use my scraps of uh, this pattern papers. I don't want to throw them away because I think I can still use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them into strips. And I accumulated a lot of like the small scraps so and this paper is so cute that i i can't throw them away <laughs> so i have my um tim holtz uh, trimmer here that my uh my friend cheryl um sent me on my uh, birthday uh, last year so i really like this uh trimmer because it cuts like butter and um, it's, I think it's better than the ones that I have, the Fiskars trimmer. Now that my pattern paper is cut into strips, I will adhere them on um, cardstock that has double-sided tape. So I'll just peel that off and then start adhering the pattern papers. And now I'm going to die cut it with one or the larger uh, die from the Spellbinders Fancy Edge Ovals and this card is using my favorite things Wednesday Sketch Challenge 494 so I'm going to um, adhere the yellow cardstock in the middle of the card base and then I will adhere the die cut uh, oval in the middle of that um, of that yellow card base and then I'm going to pop up my sewing machine and my sentiment and then we'll add that on top of the uh, scallop oval die cut and I will also adhere the sentiment
for the embellishment, I'm going to use the iridescent sequence 3 on the lower right uh, corner and then 3 sequence on the upper left corner. I will add the strip of pattern paper inside the card. Card number 10, I did the same thing like what I did on the uh, card number 9. So I cut a strips of pattern papers, uh, scraps, and then I will just add those um, strips on this uh, paper with uh, double-sided adhesive. And then I will cut the excess paper using my trimmer. So we'll add this in the middle of the uh, red card base. And then again, I will cut the excess paper. And then we'll add this uh, die cuts uh, stitch circle. Uh, purple on the on the pattern papers and then add my uh, soda can and also my uh, sentiment the soda can and the sentiment are pop up with foam tape and then I will add my iridescent sequence three of them on the upper uh, left corner and the uh, lower right corner of the card for this last card, I'm going to, instead of putting the strip of pa pattern paper on the bottom part, I will add it on the left side of the card. So I will just add that on the left side of the, inside the card and then I will cut the excess paper with my scissor. And my 10 cards using Dodo Bug So Pani collection is finished. Make sure to stop by my friend's channel to see their card creations. Links in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed today's cards. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.